MLB The Show's coverage of Major League now, Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Oakland A's and the Texas Rangers. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He will lead this one off today. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. The second big Next up for the A's, Tony. Tony Kemp. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Even count two balls and two strikes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Cole's back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Simeon. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the 2 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Faces are empty here with two men out. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Matt Olson would be next. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Elvis Andrews is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Hitter. Really? Standing in now, Willie Calhoun. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Ball two. Cole stands at first with one out. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Set to deal on two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 3-2 one more time. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that'll get over the wall. So forget about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. Stepping in now, Joey Gallo. Into right field. That's a base hit. 
And the run will score as the Rangers strike first to lead it one nothing. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Olsen has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for out number two. So next to the plate for Texas, Danny Santana. And a great chance for the Rangers to add on in just the first inning. The set and the 1-1. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. A little low, it's two and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitcher's pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. That is that. The third base man. In now, Todd Frazier swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Career against Kyle Gibson, seven hits in 14 tries. He's taken him deep once. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. And that's a home run into the top tank. At the plate, Mark Canna. Hit out towards second. Odor has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. The 2 1 home. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Chris Davis will be next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. One out, nobody on. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. Right to him. And there's out number two. At the plate, Chris Davis. The left fielder, number two. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and one. And the count will be full. Three two pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Late now, Stephen Piscotti. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it back to back jacks into the box now Austin Allen 
Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Ball three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. All even now, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So here's the left handed bat of Rugnit Odor. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Up next for the Rangers, Ronald Guzman. Bases are empty, one man out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Is swung on and missed strike three. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The 1 1 home. Is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Three and two now. Hunter Cole would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And it's fouled away. Another payoff pitch. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he touches out a wall. So coming to the plate, Hunter Cole. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. And he fouls this one off. A runner on first with two away. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Digging in now, Tony Kemp. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the three and two pitch. He's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Now that Stepping in now, Marcus Semyon. Slap hard the opposite way. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Matt Olson. And Olson with a drive out to deep right. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. So now to the plate, Mark Canna. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. A door is there, and finally there's the first out of the inning. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. The 1 1 home. Three runs already home here. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Gone! Brett Martin is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. At the plate, Chris Davis. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Count remains two and two. Four runs here in this half inning. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks now the first five. man he faces. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Runners on first with one down. To two balls and two strikes now. He stays alive, still two and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 2-2 two -two one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Another try at 2-2. And there's a base hit on the line. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back. Check. Austin Allen. To the plate now. Austin Allen. And this is low. Ball two. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Chop back to the mound. Can they turn it? Andrews relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Skied in the air to straightaway left. In there, a base hit. Now battle. No left fielder. Joey. Gallo. Into the box now, Joey Gallo. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Grounded to third. This could be two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And now it'll be the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. One and two to the Rangers catcher. First and second here with nobody out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Danny Santana. Here's the 2-1.
Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't now pull the trigger, it. and there are two away. Two men are on with two men out. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Squared that one up just a little late. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Up next for the Rangers. Here's Rognit the Odor now. Baker. He was a strikeout Rogan. victim in his first try. Odor. Fouled off. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. So our situation as the base is loaded. Two men out, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. High fly ball out to deep right field. Piscotti's going back. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Colby Allard, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Number 39. All set for the start of the fourth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Ramon Laureano. Still even at two and two. Now here it comes. Now a ball lined to the left side. The two two one more time. It is looked at and the count moves full. Well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him. And he lays off there ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. He's set. Here comes the one one. A line shot to third base. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next a Berkeley area native Marcus Simeon. Oh and they've got him picked off. The tag from Andrus and they got him at second. Two out nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Is a fastball down below the knees. Hit out towards second. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Up next for Oakland. The first baseman. Matt. Into the box, Olson. Matt Olson. Let's see what they throw Olson on a three and one count. Mark Canna would be next. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. 3 2, two out, run, run. And now they've got him in a rundown. And the tag is on him to retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrus. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. 
fouled off. The next three two. He's in there a called strike three. Now batting Hunter Cole. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two balls and a strike to count. Right side. Oh and he has some trouble with it. Mike Fires enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. In now, Willie Calhoun. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. This ball will be chopped foul. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now back, left fielder, Joey. Gallo. Stepping in now, Joey Gallo. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 7 to 4 contest. Now batting, catcher, Robinson. Chirino. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. Fouled away. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Danny Santana waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So stepping in, Danny Santana. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Fires pauses. Here's the one one. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball put himself right back in this at bat. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. I don't think he can afford another base runner here so whatever pitch he feels best about whichever one he feels most comfortable with that's the one I expect him to turn to too high and that cost him ball four. The batter. The third baseman. The 2 1 pitch. This is hit high and deep out to left. Davis going back, still going back. Gone! It's a grand slam! J.D. Wendelkin, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. J.D. Wendelkin. To the plate now, Rubnet Odor. 
And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Set to deal on two and two. Slow roller down the third baseline. The 2 2 one more time. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Ronald Guzman would be next. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And digging in once again, Ronald Guzman. No hits to this point. 3 2 pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So Elvis Andres, the next to bat. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Here now the 2-2. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Back up the middle. There is Andrus. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Weekly hit to third. And they will get no. He's in there. A very close play at first. So now to the plate. Matt Chapman. Down low. Two balls and a strike. Chapman swings and this one's hit very well out to left. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Into the box now, Chris Davis. Count is one and two now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Chris Davis goes down for out number two in the top half. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Hunter Cole, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to, like, the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Line drive base hit. 
With that, the Rangers get their leadoff hitter on base after the inning opening base hit. A designated hitter, number five, Willie Calhoun. In now, Willie Calhoun. And he fouls this one off. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Lou Trevino, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Number 62, Lou Trevino. Stepping in now, Joey Gallo. And it's one and two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Stepping up to the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Trevino is an absolute flamethrower, of course. And you don't have to watch him long before that radar gun really pops and catches your eye. This is what we're looking for in today's game. We're looking for velocity, and this guy is V-E-L-O. Velo lights up a radar gun, and he can hit triple digits, and that's one of the reasons why everybody likes to watch this guy throw. Fouled off. The one-two. Both teams right now with 11 hits in the ballgame. Fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Cody Allen will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 31. Cody. All set for the start of the inning. Allen. And next to hit is the catcher, Austin Allen. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. I got two on the count. That's going to even up the count at two and two. And the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Chopper to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Ramon Laureano. It was a walk in his last trip. Hard sinker misses two and two. One out, nobody on. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Tony Kemp waits on deck. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. So a runner at first now, now with one away, and striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. The 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. 
And the runner back in standing. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Into the box, Marcus Simeon. Fastball in there, three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. To the plate now, Matt Olson. Here's a swing, and he loses the bat from his hands as it heads over toward the first base dugout. Looks like everyone's okay, however. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Now the one and one pitch. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Gone! Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Jesse Chavez will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. At the plate, Matt Chapman. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hit on the ground out to short. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate now, Tom Frazier. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. Now back, second baseman. Rogan. A goal. Into the box now. Rupnit Odor. And it's fouled away. Now another 1-2. I'm to count 2-2. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. The first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Stepping in now, Ronald Guzman. And he fouls this one off. Line shot to third base. Oh. 
So we've got runners at the corners here. One away. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. Here's the 2-1 home. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Chris Davis. Now the one and one pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now back, right fielder. He then Piscotti. In now, Stephen Piscotti. Swing by Piscotti, and this is driven to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping into the box, Austin Allen. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. The three and one pick. Is it very well to right? This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. So now to the plate, Ramon Laureano. Sent out to straightaway center field. Santana is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Ready to take his hacks again. Tony Kemp as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. A 1 1. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. And he lays off again. Ball three. The three and one pitch. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Stepping up now, Marcus Semyon. He singled his last time up. Marcus. Here now the two two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Joaquin Soria gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Coming to the plate now, Hunter Cole. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Loriano comes on now, and he has it one down. Ready to take his hacks again. Willie Calhoun. As he'll look really? to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was oh, up in the zone. Good. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. 
count remains full. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, always frustrating. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Luis Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 3 1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. Line hard to center field. Santana is right there. One down. So now it's Mark Hanna. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And he misses two and one. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Into the box, Matt Chapman fouled off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. From the belt, kicks and deals. Outside in a full count, three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Here's Chris Davis now. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The 1-1 one, one home. Two out with the man at first. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The 2-2 two, two is swung on and missed. He got him. Yusmero Petit is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Scorched to third. Chapman's got it. And there's one away. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Piscotti's going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's Todd Frazier now. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. And a try to hold up in time but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Nick Goody enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping into the box, Stephen Piscotti. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 3 1. Hit back up the middle. Andrus gets down and dirty. He goes to first. Just late. He's safe. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. At the plate, Austin Allen. 
And there's ball two now. Goody, 28 years old. He was taken in the sixth round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Now battle. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ramon Laureano. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Hit hard up the middle. Andrus fields it cleanly. Odor. On to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Jake Diekman will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Rupnit Odor. Ready on one and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Davis. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Standing in, Ronald Guzman. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. This is when you start to lose your mind a little bit. You know you're in a slump as you walk to the plate. You finally do something good and barrel something up, and it's right at somebody. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball, that's out. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Diekman is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. So he sets now him down is. swinging. Ronald Guzman becomes out number two in the bottom of the ninth. Here it comes now to Andrus. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Sinker, three and two now. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And that's going to be your final out here. And the A's make it six straight victories now as this one is over. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 15 to 10, the final score here. The Oakland A's wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Lou Trevino wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.